Revitalizing the Givenchy brand with his wild imagination, brilliant ideas and stunning designs is the creative Italian fashion designer Riccardo Tisci. Being a relatively newcomer to the fashion industry, Tishi only graduated from London Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design in 1999 and proved himself as a successful designer by being hired as the creative director of Givenchy only a few years later in 2005. Before Givenchy though, Tishi gained experience working for a series of fashion companies, eventually to release his own collection at the Milan Fall 2005-2006 Fashion Week. In early 2005, Tishi was officially chosen as the creative director of Givenchy for haute couture, ready-to-wear and accessories, and the hot young Italian designer has since presented some outstanding runway shows that are highly stylized. In 2007, he brought a touch of Africa to Paris with a variety of fabrics and styles that were only becoming more eclectic as the models strutted on the runway. Alternating the slim lines of skinny-legged trouser suits with draped flowing evening wear, Tishy never strayed far from the central motif of animal skin. His haute couture in early 2008 featured his trademark gothic look on a ballerina-inspired collection, saying that he wanted his ballerinas to symbolize four things – religion, romanticism, sensuality and gothic style. Even model Natalia Vodianova, who attended the show, says she wasn't put off by the mock effect. Tishy then continued his gothic romanticism for his next collection, which he also mixed with strict tailoring. He piled kilos of silver crosses and chains onto tailored black coats and embroidered patterns onto sexy black satin blouses. He used lace to fine effect and used other figure-hugging material either as camouflage on a see-through dress or as a trim on wool coats laden with black passamentary and thick faux gemstones. By May 2008, Tishy had become the designer of Givenchy's menswear division and unveiled his first collection in Paris, where the mood was dark, brooding and once again gothic. Tishy sent models down the catwalk wearing eyelet punch scarves tied gypsy style at the neck. His black palette showed off the tailoring of the shirts and suits, along with a selection of black leather shorts and sleek tuxedos that were accompanied by slim cut trousers. But there was a funkier edge too, with shorts layered over cropped leggings and a shocking selection of pink. Tishy has also provided plenty of daywear options alongside his stunning draped jersey evening gowns for his haute couture collections in 2008, as his models traipsed valiantly across a catwalk covered in wood chips, with a collection inspired by the Inca Citadel of Machu Picchu. Colors were fairly dark, however some brighter hues were thrown in to lighten up the mood. He has been known to stick to his trademark palette of black, white and the occasional flash of nude, and in late 2008, walked a tightrope between good and evil. There were some bizarre digressions as well, like jeans with built-in leather chaps and black leggings with white arabesque appliques. Bizarre or not, Tishy has managed to woo many of the rich and famous, designing gowns that have been worn to red carpet events. But there's no one better to pull off the bizarre look than the crazed rocker Courtney Love, who attended the 2009 L Style Awards wearing a long, draping black gown with puffy shoulders from Givenchy's Spring 2009 collection. Actress Hilary Swank chose something a little more unconventional than she would normally wear from Givenchy's Fall 2008 Couture Collection with this one-shouldered lilac gown. So since joining the Givenchy team, Riccardo Tisci has revived the brand and brought it a new image, which in turn has made him and the label into a critical and lucrative success.